For reading comprehensions, at times you might be asked the question of trying to figure out the relationship involved within a passage. For instance, they could give you two lines from the passage and they could ask you what is the relationship between these two lines or how does this idea or this statement connect or link to another statement. Now, something that could really help us understand the relation between two particular sentences or two particular paragraphs are what we call your logical connectors. Now, the logical connectors are basically ways in which your sentences or statements could connect together because they have a certain relationship compared to each other or mutually they share a particular relationship. So let's take a look at the types of logical connectors that we have or the types of relationships that we have in this case. So the first one here is called the sequential or the time related logical connector. So in these kinds of connectors, we have a relationship of time. So let's say one thing happens after another. So words like after, before, then, so, uh, then we have while, during. You can notice that many of the words that have written are prepositions or they could be conjunctions. So conjunctions and prepositions can usually be used to help us figure out what the relationship is between two parts of the same, uh, two parts of a sentence or between two sentences or even two paragraphs. So what we do is we take a look at those prepositions and we look out for those conjunctions. And if they're related to time, then we can say that they have a sequential or time related uh, connection between them. So similarly, we have another type of logical connector, which is the causal or the reason and purpose or cause and effect relationship. This means that one thing or one statement is the cause or reason for something else happening. So types of words that can show you causal relationships are words like because, so, since. Um, so this these words would give you an idea that or in order that um, or provided that. So all of these types of words that you have can give you an idea that you're showing a reason and purpose or a cause and effect relationship between the two parts of the sentence or between two sentences. Now next you have the adversative type of logical connector. Now these give you or show you that there is an unexpected result or a contrast or an opposition. So they express something that's clashing. So examples could be but, the conjunction but, although, then we could have in spite of. So all of these words or these phrases, they'll tell you that one idea is in contrast or is opposite to another idea or it's an unexpected result of something else. So that clashing of ideas can be hinted out using or looking out for these words. Next you have uh, logical connectors of condition. So for condition, we have words like provided that, right? provided that, or you have words like if, um, so that, um, so here, um, insofar as, insofar as, all of these terms would then show you a condition that one idea in a statement is dependent on something else happening. So using all of these logical connectors and taking a look at the prepositions and conjunctions we have in the passage can really help us figure out what relationship there is between different paragraphs or diff two different parts of the text. And this is important because it'll help you figure out how the, what the author is trying to say through the passage or the text and in what sequence or in what manner and what meaning they're trying to convey. So next time you read a passage, make sure you take a look at all of these logical connectors. You keep an eye out for them and whenever you find them, you mark them out so that you know exactly where to look out for those types of relationships.